Hi everyone, this is Kids Chat from St. Paul Lutheran Church. Uh, Grandma Mary is uh, still out in Denver with uh, grandson Hudson and our new grandson Sullivan Andrew. And I think she's having a great time being with them at this very, very special time. And they're very special, like all people are very special. And uh, new babies, they require a lot of care. Uh, they need to be nurtured and fed and diaper changed. Yeah, that's part of it too. Um, and boy, they sleep a lot. So they're kind of like grandpa can be on some sleepy days, some, <laughs> some, um, some rainy uh, type days when you can't really work outside. But uh, what I want to talk to you about, Grandma, Grandma Mary will be back next week with her message. And what I want to talk about is this week when I was out, when there was a break in the rain, I was working outside in the driveway. This was laying in the driveway, bigger than it really is. Um, but it is a bird's nest. It's a robin's nest. And I talked about in the past how we had watched the robin uh, build the nest, lay eggs, uh, take care of the eggs, and then would feed, go back and forth and back and forth, and then um, they bring in bring in food and then take out waste from the nest, and then would be there when the babies were ready to uh, be out in the world, and they would uh, instead of just jumping off and flying, they'd jump to another branch. Uh, this was an arborvitae, a big, tall evergreen tree and they jumped to the other branch and they just would sit there and we loved watching them throughout this whole process and they're kind of like decide well what do i do next well my friends god gives people instincts and these animals have instincts and this is how they do this now if you look at this nest in a way it's a, a feat of engineering it's made up of many materials it's made up of mud and branches and uh, twigs and grass and a whole bunch of things and actually it's pretty heavy i was surprised as I've seen this before in their real life, but this one was very, constructed very, very well. And this is a, uh, to me, this is about God's creation where God weaves things together to take care of us, uh, sends the Holy Spirit to nurture us, sends Jesus to uh, save us. And uh, that's the type of creator we have. And God's creation is absolutely amazing. Man always tries to improve upon it or think they have other answers, but the reality is, is God is our creator. And God is able to give this bird the ability to build this nest. Not a bird with an engineering degree, not a bird that had a, uh, was able to do mathematical formulas or had a construction class or work in construction, but a bird that just had a st instinct built this. And she built this for little ones and so that they could be born a new creation, like we're a new creation, and could be in the world. And uh, she did a really good job. We watched her. Uh, it's interesting, I, the, this grass and stuff, she would take it and put, hang some of the things on that arborvitae and construct the nets. And then she'd go and get building materials, building materials, similar maybe what, what a builder might do. So it's, it's amazing. But uh, like today, it's a very stormy day, but that's part of God's creation, too, because it, out of that, it waters the plants and, and the grass and, and brings water to our lakes and ponds and canals and creeks and makes life better for us. And that's what God wants for us is a better life. And so if God can do this with a little bird that has no opposing thumbs has limited abilities, has to do things basically with her beak. Think of what God has made for us to do what we could do. And I think by our purpose basically is to tell other about this, tell other people about this great creator. To tell him about how this creator creates and how wonderful it is and beyond really human understanding in many ways. And, um, this is, uh, I think this is an important message for us that we have a place we can rely on. In a sense, with God, we can be in this nest. We can be comfortable. We can be nurtured. We can take care of. But God wants us to go beyond this nest and go out in the world and tell other people. And tell other people about his son, that he so loved the world, he gave his only son so we could have eternal life. 
that we can be with God forever. And that is, uh, that's a wonderful message and that's good news. And I think we need to share this good news about this great creator. Now, how he not only has us to be born, where God's very spirit breathed into dust to create mankind, wants us to be born, wants us to be taken care of and nurtured, and then all of them be with him in it, throughout eternity. And this is good news for us indeed. Well, I hope you guys have a good week. I, I'm sure you're playing a lot indoors, not going to school, playing a lot indoors, but I hope you have a good week. And uh, uh, Grandma Mary will be with you next week. So you guys have a great week, great week. And God's blessings. God love you. Bye now.